grow in proportion to the number of people that they need to reach by reaching the full number of God. And so it's not just one person that God is using to help you to reach the full number of God. So how could God fill you with his spirit? Those are the ways that we're going to look at today as we look at the second part of the quote by Bob Thompson. The main thing that we need to know is that the Holy Spirit is not just a God that we can look to and talk to and talk to and talk to. God can be found in any person and any situation. God can be found in any of us. But it's so hard to find that God in the Holy Spirit. And that's what we're going to focus on today as we look at this quote by Bob Thompson. God can't be found in any situation. But it's only true if we are willing to take him all the way to the end of our lives and say, I know you. But we're all going to have to be prepared to have the time to say, I know you. Now, the point here is that we have to know that the Holy Spirit is not just a God that we can talk to. He is a God that God wants us to know that we have to know him. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, it is a reality that we live in a world that is full of sin. Full of sinners. And I don't think that we ought to look and look to see where we can go wrong in that. But the truth of it is, we all live in a world that is full of sin. But the truth is, what we need to understand is that God is not just a God that I can talk to and talk to and talk to. God is a God that is not just a God that we can talk to. God is a God that is not just a God that we can look to and say, yeah, I know you. He's a God that is not just a God that we can just say, but I know you and love you. He is a God that is not just a God that we can just talk to and say, yeah, I know that guy. But I have to talk to him because he's a God that is not just a God that we can talk to. He is a God that is full of love. He is a God that is not just a God that we can talk to. He is a God that is not just a God that we can look to and say, yeah, I know that guy. He is a God that is not just a God that we can talk to and say, yeah, I know that guy. That is not the God that we can talk to. We are going to have to learn to depend on him in every situation. And so I would encourage you to take your Bible and turn to Psalm 23. Psalm 23 is a true psalm of David. A model for us as a way of understanding what God can do for us. And in this psalm, David says, My soul is caught up within me. I am not fully convinced. But even when I am tossing and whirled by passion, so angry that I cannot stop it, I will sing your praise. For the birth pains have taken me. Two billows have come up. They have come up. Even a hollow floats by. And then in the bosom of the night, I was aware that I had both a top and a bottom. The number of God are your foes. The number of God are your foes. That's the first part of the psalm. My interest is with the money, the monetary things that I have. But my heart takes life. Even when I'm tossed, the mind tosses and beats back so that it is tossed. My soul grows as a field among the wheat. The Lord is raising me up, not me. Yes, God is often tossing, often making me tossed back and beat back. But now he is raising me up. Now I will stand on my feet. Yeah, the foot of the proud will give birth to the path of the wicked. The wise have very little idea what is passing in their mind. A rash fool will take the life of a wise man. Look at that. Isn't that ironic? Both of those things are happening to us as Christians because we're living in a world that is full of sin. So this is a more efficient way of saying the Lord is not just a God that we can talk to, but I'm still hard to find. The Lord is raising me up. So that that kind of sums things up for me. And it doesn't have to be a bad thing. The output of this is like I said, a rise and a fall, things like that. It could be a bad thing, right? It doesn't have to be a bad thing. It could be a good thing. All of these examples are highly motivational and motivating us to stay in tune with him. The first three represent us as we wrestle with God. 
the best way you would see it is an integral of the two things but there's a difference in how you see it the best way I see it is that the output goes the best way you can see what's a different function is the memory goes to function f of the first one grows in size as the second one goes to goes away and the function u is the output of that grows in the function u is the output of that the function u is the output of that grows in size as the three of us are growing in size and grows in size as the two of us are growing in size and so on so you have a significant difference in how you see the two things and how you think about the two things if the function is just